Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I want to uh, share some information about a drone kit that a colleague recently shared with me. I've been looking at a development platform to be able to do some experimentation with computer vision and autonomous flight. Now, this is the NXP Hover Games drone kit, and I'll say that for the price, it's $460 plus shipping. It is definitely one of the best kits that uh, I've come across and very well documented. If you've ever built uh, APM or PixHawk based aircraft, you know that there's a lot of just ins and outs as it relates to hardware as well as software that you have to know to be able to get in the air. This drone kit took me about eight hours over the weekend to assemble. I'm gonna walk you through some of the photos that I took of the process. If you look at the Hover Games Git book, there's just tremendous documentation and videos that walk you through assembly and configuration. My goal is to uh, get this in the air and start adding a companion computer. That might be a Raspberry Pi and then follow up with the uh, Jetson Nano. And before I dive into some of the images, I'll mention that you may be wondering what flight controller, or in this case, NXP calls it the FMU, the flight management unit that this aircraft uses. It's uh, their own reference design, but it runs the PX4 firmware, similar to what you'd be able to load on your PixHawk. You can load the PX4 firmware on here and get many of the capabilities that you would get out of the box with a PixHawk flight controller. So let's dive into some photos from the build. Once again, this took about eight hours. I was able to knock it out over the weekend without any major hiccups, which was awesome. So here's the parts list with a little case. And inside of the case, uh, you even have tools, all your ESCs, motors, everything you need uh, for the assembly. And of course, we have the frame components. Now, I'll actually mention that this comes with its own transmitter and receiver. Just for starters, I'll stick with the FlySky uh, just to see how everything works. And then I'll likely move over to uh, FreeSky Tyrannus, probably the QX7. Here's the photo of the bottom plate with a PDB. This actually comes with two different PDBs, uh, one that's pre-wired, soldered with the ESC connections. You can see that could support up to an octocopter. In this case, the NXP Hover Games drone is a quadcopter. And there is an additional PDB that you could use to configure your own, or maybe even use it for a different project. And I'll mention that all the tools came available. This is a side view after mounting the bottom plate. We have uh, these rails with a camera that can be mounted on here. And in my case, I'll likely put the companion computer there. Here's a close up of the PDB with the ESC installed, the ESCs pre-wired with bullet connectors. Uh, everything is easily plug and play. Then here's the top view. The ESCs are just mounted on with some double sticky tape. Then from the bottom, you can see uh, the rails with these vibration dampeners that slide right in. Here's the power module that plugs in and ultimately will feed up into the flight management unit. There's some nice little touches with this kit. This is a 3D printed mount for the antennas from the FlySky receiver. I put a little bit of hot glue on there just to keep them from sliding out and these will mount directly to the bottom rails. You can see here, this photo is actually out of focus. I was not trying to focus on the drone. That's actually the Coex Clover drone that I'll talk about in an upcoming video. But here you can see that the 3D printed bracket for the receiver antennas is nicely mounted. It just snaps right on. Uh, here's a bottom view of the receiver, uh, the power module, the 3D printed antenna holder, a battery tray that snaps right onto these rails with brackets. So we'll be able to strap our battery right in. Now here we have the NXP FMU uh, 3D printed case, which is a nice touch and includes a little sticker that we'll put on uh, to be able to just know what ports are available for our build. Here it is fully assembled. See all the different ports and they even include this little bit of tape for those ports that you don't want to use. Of course, I'll uncover the ones that we need to use for the build. This is the top plate. In addition to a little uh, bracket for mounting the FMU and then we have these little 
rubber dampeners that connect that plate to the top plate. Comes with GPS, this Holy Bro GPS, uh, all the parts that we need. And one thing I'll mention is that if you're doing this build, make sure to use the shorter stick. It's called out in the documentation. The documentation talks a little bit about that big antenna generating a lot of vibration. The mast is assembled, not using the long one, but the short. Now, one thing I want to mention that I failed to do in the original order was uh, purchase some telemetry radios. Uh, you can get them with your kit as an add-on. I believe they're about $40. Now I have these 3DR ones from previous builds that I'll need to create a cable to be able to plug in. So I hope to do that. So here's everything pretty much ready to go. We're going to then assemble the top plate. The top plate is on, everything's mounted, and then we have our arms coming out. These arms are mounted through clamps that attach to the top and the bottom plates. And one thing that I did just to be safe, I wanna make sure that my arm links are pretty close to each other. So I, before I tightened everything down, I took a measurement of each arm to make sure that they're all the same length. Here is the uh, final assembly. You can see that we even have uh, motors are counterclockwise rotating motors as well as the clockwise rotating motors. Here's another view of the final build. The kit actually comes with eight propellers, so an extra set of spares. And the pro propellers are self-locking, so threaded, so they'll go right onto those motors and lock into place. Uh, the total weight without a battery, so the kit comes with everything once again except the battery, we have 1.12 pounds or 0.52 kilograms. So that was the assembly. Once again, $460 plus shipping. Now I'm in Austin. I ordered this and uh, the day that it shipped, I believe was last Friday, received it the same day. So that was pretty cool. I don't know if uh, everything ships out of Austin, but just keep that in mind if you're looking into this kit and in the next video, I'm going to demonstrate just configuration and a maiden flight. I'm really excited about uh, having a development platform like this one that I can experiment with, as well as looking into adding a companion computer. That was a update on this NXP drone. I'll put a link to the kit below. Please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching.